Question. Why do we prepare closing entries? Okay, let's assume that on December 2029, 2019, on December 2019, we have the following cash 205,000 sales. You have 350,000, for example. If you don't prepare closing entries, this will happen on January 2020. The following year. For example, we only have one transaction for January 2020. We have 50,000 cash sales. So if we receive cash for 50,000, our cash now will be up 255,000. Okay? Sales, 350 plus 50 will become 400,000. Question. Assuming all of this happened, is my cash of 255,000 in January Correct. So this is correct. If I check my bank account, I have 255,000. 205 in December, then I receive 50,000 cash for January. So my cash is at 255,000. But my sales in 2020, 2020 is not 400,000. That's the need for closing entries. So closing entries means you close those accounts Steps in closing entries. Number one, 
close the regular account. In this case, we only have one regular account, which is service revenue of 9850000 And all of these revenues and expenses are closed in an account called the income summary account or income expense uh, summary account. So, credit, debit. So, we have service revenue debit 900 I'm sorry, let me go sorry, that's 9,850 9,850 this is what happens you have here service revenue its existing balance is 950 credit 950 credit so 9 a 50 credit. When you say you close the account, so you debit 959 a 50 so that it's zero balance out. So debit service revenue and credit income summary 9850. So step one, close revenue accounts to income summary. Revenue accounts credit to close, you debit. Step two, close all expenses accounts to income summary accounts. So all of these are debits, so to close, you credit. So debit income summary. Let's have to wait for the total and list down all the expenses. So Let's start with red expense. So you have red expense. 1,500. Salary expense. 3,500. Taxes and licenses. 370. Utilities expense. 1,800. Service supplies expense nine hundred sorry depreciation expense of seven hundred twenty thousand and the total of our expenses is So total expenses is 8,790. So debit, income summary, 8,790. So step one, close income accounts or revenue accounts to income summary. So debit. Step two, close all expenses. Expenses accounts or rebalance debit. So to close, you credit all expenses accounts. Step three. You close this income summary account. Income summary account is a temporary account. So we have to close this. Income summary. You have credit 9,850. Then entry number two debit 8,790. 8,790. So that means we still have a credit balance of 1,060. Okay, so we still have a balance of 1,060. So we have to close this temporary account to our capital account. So credit to close, we debit this income summary account. So debit income. Summary of 1060 and credit uh, Quarantino. So, Mr. Quarantino Capital of 1060. And last step in our uh, closing entry is 
we close the drawing account to the capital account. So this is now zero. And number four, we close the drawing account. Drawing account, debit, so we credit. So Mr. Quarantino Capital, 7,000 and credit, Mr. Quarantino Drawings. So our drawings now is zero. Original account, drawings, we have 7,000 debit. Then we have our closing entry number four, 7,000. So our drawing account now is zero. So that's how we do closing entries. Step one, close revenue accounts to income summary. Step two, close expenses. Normal balance debit, close in credit to income summary account. Step three, close income summary account, the balance. Of step one and step two, the remaining balance you close to capital accounts. And step four, close Drawing account to capital account. So drawing account, debit to close credit. Step four, debit, capital, credit, drawing. So that's how you do closing entries.